right. Welcome back, decoders. Welcome back to the channel. Good evening. Good afternoon. This is Cody turning, tuning in from the first time from Turkey. Yes, guys, I was traveling the last few days from Albania. As you guys know, my girlfriend lives in Germany. I can only stay in Germany for three months at a time. So I left Germany to Albania. I wasn't really liking Albania anymore. So decided to come to Turkey. So anyways, I am about eight hours ahead of you guys on the East Coast there. Let me know in the chat if you guys give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear and see the stream. And I see my girlfriend is in the chat, Magdalena. I love you, babe. Hope you're doing okay there. Hey, hello, Captain Flatastic. Hello to you as well. Hope you're doing well. And Kathy Chawner. Welcome. Uh, it looks like you guys gave a thumbs up, so sounds like everything is good. Thank you guys for the likes. Please hit the like button if you guys are just getting into the stream. Already got 25 likes. Let's get that up to 100 before the end of the stream. I greatly appreciate you guys. So I hope you guys are doing well there. Um, Turkey's been amazing so far. Please excuse me if I'm a little out of breath. I'm still completely full from eating way too much food at this uh, all-inclusive hotel, and that just too much food. I gotta, I gotta balance myself out a bit. So, but yeah, and also if there's any noise in the background, um, there's lots of music going on around here, and also there's some random noises that happen sometimes here. So, just, just a warning, you guys, ahead of time, if you guys hear something. It's, yeah, I can't really help it. So, hello, Anne. Hello, Complete Works. Hello, congrats to the winners. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. I'll give about another two or three minutes. We'll let, we'll let a few more people join in. And then we're going to get right into the presentation. And this one's going to be, I mean, this one, this one hits a little close to home, guys. This one is connected to me personally. And you guys, are, you guys, hopefully you guys see what I'm about ready to show you and just how crazy this is. For me, it's even more crazy because what I'm about ready to show you here is connected to me, to me personally. It's so weird, you know, like I just can't, can't explain it, but you guys are going to see here in a second. So thank you guys for the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts. Much love to you all. All right, we got 63 in the chat. We'll go ahead and get started. Everyone who's watching this on a replay, hopefully you guys can, um, so they can catch up, you guys can catch up later or you guys can watch it on the replay. So, so guys, you know, all right, most of you all know Donald Trump and the storm reference, right? The storm reference came exactly 888 days before the declaration of the P word, okay? And again, Trump, Donald J. Trump in Sumerian equals 888. <laughs> yeah, Marcus says, calm before the storm like your stomach. Yeah, my stomach's a little bit stormy right now. I just ate way too much, I'm telling you. Whew. I got to balance myself out next time. <laughs> but anyways, so the calm before the storm statement, very famous Trump statement and then he got involved in this, this hush money trial with Stormy Daniels, right? Stormy Daniels. So Trump is synonymous with the storm, right? And you guys will remember that in Donnie Darko, which was the 2001 movie, right, that came out the same year as 9-11, Donnie Darko with a guy named Donald Darko, like Donald Trump, like the DD, okay? Remember, in that movie, there's the tornado, Okay, I believe the tornado scene is at the very end of the movie. Okay, so we're gonna in this we're gonna talk about just some crazy synchronicities between the storm, between Donnie Darko, between the tornadoes that happened the other day on March 14th, and how it's connected to me in my hometown. And, and this is just gonna be absolutely insane. So let's jump into it. Okay.
Now, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Square Peg Divergent. She was in the chat earlier, and she said that she gave this amazing piece of info that I'm going to expand upon. Okay? So considering we're talking about Donald Trump and the storm statement, the storm statement was October 5th, 2017. So the day after that would be the first day of the 1188 days, okay? And again, don't forget in Gematria, Trump equals 88, okay? But look at this. You guys can't tell me that the eclipse coming up on April 8th is not completely tied to the storm statement and to the insurrection. And a possible, what I think is some sort of like, you know, chaos that's coming soon, right? So remember, Trump gave his speech here, the calm before the storm. If you go 1188 days forward, you're going to land on the insurrection, January 6th, 2021, right before Trump had to leave office. Okay. And then if you take that same amount of days between the storm statement and the insurrection, and you go from the insurrection to the eclipse, look at what you get, guys, 1188. And what is the dang gematria of calm before the storm? Is it a coincidence that calm before the storm, the statement that he said, equals 1188, 1188 days after was the insurrection, and 1188 days after the insurrection is April 8th, the eclipse, okay? And don't forget, President Trump equals 1188 in the same cipher as calm before the storm. So I guys, I, I want you guys to sit back in your seats a minute and understand that this is not a coincidence. This is absolutely highly unlikely. What are the chances that the gematria, see, uh, square peg divergent, she gave me the 1188 days thing. Thank you to her for that. And then I realized that calm before the storm equals 1188. What is the chance of that? And President Trump equals 1188. So this lines up perfectly with whatever they've got planned coming this April. Again, 1188 days from the storm statement to the insurrection and 1188 days from the insurrection to the eclipse. And absolutely not a coincidence. So this, this first slide was to set up the connection between the storm statement the civil war connection or the insurrection and the eclipse coming up. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about after that is going to be what happened the other day in my hometown of Salina, Ohio. Okay. If you guys have been following Jurassic liars on YouTube, I'll have his channel linked and I'll have square pegs divergence channel linked in the comments of this video after it's over. Okay. So go check them both out. But if you guys have been following Jurassic liars, his prediction is that something will happen on August 4th in Ohio to Donald Trump, okay? So you guys are going to have to go check out his channel for all the details on why Ohio, but I'm going to show you how my hometown, little old Salina, Ohio, was part of a ritual, I believe, on, on March 14th, just a few days ago, connected to the storm and the eclipse and Donald Trump. So here it is, guys. This is where it gets wild. If you thought, If you thought this was wild, Wait till you see the next stuff, okay? All right, so let's start out with this. Let me explain to you what's going on here. This post is the storm, okay? This post was posted on 315, on the Ides of March. This is the day that honors the assassination of Julius Caesar, okay? March 15th is the Ides of March. This was posted on the Ides of March, okay? And this is a storm. This is a tornado, okay? Let me explain to you how this connects and how crazy it connects, okay? So let me just read this guy's post. I want you guys to notice that this is a post by Buckeye Frank, okay? And when I, tell, when I talk to you later about the Frank, you're going to understand it, okay? This was taken on 3-14-2024 around 7 p.m. at the intersection of 197, okay? So the first clue that this is about Trump, guys, and again, why am I picking this statement? This is in my hometown of Salina, Ohio, guys, a little town in the middle of nowhere. And this goes viral on X because of the tornado that went through there on the 14th. This was posted the next day on the 15th and got 64K views as the time of I took the screenshot. But now it's up to almost 100K views. 
So the, this this post went pretty viral on X, and I'm I'm going to show you why I believe so. Okay. So this guy Buckeye Frank, if you guys know anything about Donnie Darko, you're going to understand why this connects to Donnie Darko right off the bat. But look at the first number he gives. Well, first of all, he does this on 314. 314 is Pi Day, guys, a circle. What does a tornado do? It spins in circles. What is the eclipse all about? A circle, right? Pi Day. Why did this all happen on Pi Day, a mathematical day, okay? And why did a tornado, why is this guy pulling up to the intersection of 197 and Grand Lake Road? I'm going to explain to you. I, I pulled up to this this. This is crazy, guys. I pull up to this intersection all the time, driving my Amish workers every day to work. This intersection is so familiar to me. I cannot tell you how amazing this is, that this is my intersection. Okay? So, again, I don't want you guys to, to think that I'm making this connection out of nowhere because there's going to be plenty of evidence to show how this is connected. Anyway, 197, the intersection. Why is it interesting? Because Trump was the 45th president, guys. Trump was the 45th president. The 197th prime number, or 197 is the 45th prime. Trump was the 45th president. Okay, so now if you go back to the first great American eclipse in 2017, August 21st, 2017, when Trump was still president, he gave his calm before the storm speech exactly 45 days after the first great american eclipse remember trump was the 45th president so what are the chances that he gave his calm before the storm speech on october 5th 45 days after the first great american eclipse in the first slide i already connected the second eclipse that's coming up next month with the calm before the storm now you had this perfectly synced with the number 45 <clears throat> and again this guy pulls up to an intersection and the lights go out immediately. So if you guys, I'm sorry I didn't put this video up, but I should have played this video for you guys to see. This guy pulls up to the light and the lights go out immediately and he he stops and he watches the tornado from afar. There's a tornado over there, okay? And it's hitting my hometown. This isn't the first time my hometown's got hit by a tornado either, by the way. But anyways, he pulls up to 197 and Grand Lake Road in Salina, Ohio, looking north, possibly a rain-wrapped tornado hiding in there. The entire area lost power as I was pulling up to the light. The folks of Salina sure did not want to drive, or sure did want to drive, into the tornado today. Also saw kids just hoverboarding. And, and what's, what's interesting about this phrase, guys, why does he post hoverboarding? Do you guys remember how Trump's connected to Back to the Future? Do you guys remember all the connections in Back to the Future and Trump and the 88 miles an hour and how Trump equals 88 and time traveler equals 88? And what's in what's in Back to the Future, guys? Hoverboards. Hoverboards, okay? So what are the chances that this also references a hoverboard, which is also tied to Back to the Future, okay? But again, this gets even more crazy, guys, because... Let me remind you, this is the, the screenshot of the tornado warnings and tornadoes that happened on 314, okay? Look at the eclipse, guys. The eclipse takes the same path as the tornadoes on 314. So you cannot tell me that this was not tied to the tornadoes. And look at the, the gematria, okay? Look at the gematria of... Tornado and Eclipse, 33, 39, and two ciphers, a direct match in two ciphers, and the tornadoes took a direct path over the United States as the Eclipse will take. And here's Salina, Ohio, my little old hometown up here, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. Big shout out to Wario Code is Never Surrender on X. If you guys got an X account, check him or her out. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy, but he posted this or she, all right? And again, look at the path, guys. Right here in Mercer County is little old Salina where the tornado hit in my hometown, okay? It's in the, in, it's in the direct path of totality, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this. This says Mercer County and Allglaze County and Logan County also got hit with some bad tornadoes, okay? This whole area was pegged with tornadoes 
on March 14th, okay? And again, what is the end of Donnie Darko show? The end of Donnie Darko shows the tornado, guys. And this is just crazy because you got this tornado hitting my hometown, and then Donnie Darko watches a tornado hit his hometown at the end of the movie. And I just can't believe how crazy this is, guys. All right? So, again, just so, just so you guys know, the tornadoes were all in the same path as the eclipse on March 14th. Okay? And then Trump, Trump was in Ohio right after the tornadoes hit, guys. Okay, so if you guys didn't believe it's connected already, what are the chances that Trump then, two days later, after the tornadoes, arrives in Ohio, okay? And here, again, on March 14th in my hometown, Salina, Ohio, tornado hits, okay? The guy's watching the tornado like in Donnie Darko, okay? Here's Salina, right? In the path of totality, right? And I want you guys to see how this is coded. So not only – I want you guys to know in the movie Donnie Darko – let me go forward a second. In the movie Donnie Darko, the rabbit who gets the eye wound – okay, I want you guys to understand how crazy this is. The rabbit who gets the eye wound is Frank, guys. The rabbit's name is Frank. The guy who posted this tornado thing is Buck I – Frank, okay? Sit there a minute and understand this. How is that possible? It's got the I reference and the Frank reference. Again, he, let me read the synopsis of Donnie Darko. On October 2nd, 1988, troubled teenager Donald Donnie Darko sleepwalks outside, led by a mysterious voice. Once outside, he meets a figure in a monstrous rabbit costume named Frank who tells Donnie that the world will end in precisely 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, and 12 seconds. Donnie wakes up the next morning on the green of the local golf course and returns home to discover a jet engine has just crashed into his bedroom. Remember, guys, there's been lots of stories. There's been lots of stories lately about stuff falling off of airplanes, okay? So not only did you have these tornadoes, okay? Not only did you have these tornadoes, you have Frank, okay? So, again, let me go back to this post. This guy from my hometown, this guy from my hometown who posts this storm like the tornado in Donnie Darko, his name is Frank, okay? And his name is Buckeye, Buckeye Frank, okay? Again, Buckeye is the – the Ohio is the Buckeye state. The guy in Donnie Darko who gets the eye wound is Frank the Rabbit, Frank with the eye, okay? Remember, Donald Trump supposedly is going to get his own eye wound, right? If you guys have been watching Jurassic, if you guys have been watching me, Joseph, we've all been talking about how there's been lots of symbolism for Trump to get his wound just like Don or Frank the Rabbit, okay? And then Buckeye Frank posts this. <laughs> and he does this at the intersection of 197. The Antichrist equals 197. 197 is the 45th prime. Trump was the 45th president. Okay. And so anyways, my hometown is the center of a Trump ritual, guys, that went viral on X after these tornadoes. And look at this. Let's decode this guy's Twitter. How is this guy possibly... Either this is organic. I'm not saying this couldn't be organic, guys, but either this is completely organic or somehow this guy, his post got put on the algorithm because, you know, maybe he doesn't know, but maybe his post got pushed to the top of the algorithm because they wanted it to be out there. OK, but look at this. So not only is his name Frank, his name is look at the word Frank and Donald. Why do you think the rabbit in Donnie Darko is also named Frank? Just like the, the main character is named Donald. Well, look, Donald and Frank have a three out of four cipher match, okay? Now, let's decode this guy's Twitter, okay? This guy's name is Frank, which equals Donald, right? Frank is the rabbit in Donnie Darko. Well, Donald equals 50, Frank equals 50. The guy's Twitter handle, Frank D, 
And why is his name, why is his Twitter handle Frank D, guys? Why does he have the freaking D? Also, if this isn't connected to Trump, how can it not be? How can it not be? His name is Frank D, okay? And then the area code of my hometown, Salina, Ohio, is 419, okay? So that's why he has the 419 in there. Frank D, 419, equals 50, like Donald. Look at the road that this tornado is happening on. Remember, he pulls up to the stoplight. The lights go out immediately, and then he watches a tornado like Donald, like Donnie Darko does in the movie, okay? Grand Lake Road, just like he writes it here, Grand Lake Road equals 50. In the same cipher as the guy who posted it, Buckeye Frank equals 50. This is too many coincidences to just be some randomness, guys. At first, I was like, this can't be possible. This has to be a coincidence, right? But then everything equals 50. Donald 50, Frank 50. Frank D419, his handle 50, the road he's on, Grand Lake Road 50, his his twiddle name is Buckeye Frank, it equals 50. Again, Trump was the president of 50 states, right? The United States with his 50 states. And look at storm. This is all about a storm, and that also equals 50. Okay. And again, the only thing that's missing here is Salina, my hometown, does not equal 50. That's the only thing that doesn't equal 50. So again, I want to reiterate, for those just getting in, this is my hometown I'm talking about. Yeah, America does equal 50. Thank you. I see Joseph was in the chat. Much love, brother. And so again, what is the chances that Frank posts this? His name equals Donald. He's got all the 50s. He does this on 197, like Antichrist equal, the Antichrist equals 197. Donald Trump, the 45th president, 197 is the 45th prime. Okay. So it gets even crazier, guys, because again, Frank is the rabbit in Donnie Darko, and Frank posts this, right? So let me talk about the 99 for a second, because again, this is all connected to the eclipse coming up. Uh, by the way, let me go back for all those. Uh, let me go back to those um, to the first stream in case those getting in are just understanding how this is connected to the eclipse. Remember, Joseph, I know you just got here, but look at this. President Trump equals 1188. Calm before the storm equals 1188. From Trump's calm before the storm to the insurrection was 1188 days after. If you measure the day after, so that means the day after his calm before the storm speech to the insurrection was 1188 days. If you go from the insurrection to the eclipse coming up next month on April 8th, it's also 1188 days. Calm before the storm, 1188. President Trump, 1188. Remember, this 88 is very connected to Trump, right? All right, so. That that for those of you just getting in, that's the connection to this upcoming eclipse that is undeniable, right? So let's talk more about this eclipse and how it's on the 99th day of the year. Okay. The eclipse is on April 8th, the 99th day of the year. Here's the path of totality, goes over my county, right here, Mercer County. And that's where Salina is. There was also tornadoes that hit in Logan County that destroyed a whole trailer park. Okay. Just to the west, east of Salina, right here in Logan and Shelby. I know this whole area, guys. I've driven the Amish around this area my my last four or five, six years in this whole area, okay? I have been all over this. All right, Donald Darko equals 99, right? That's the main character of Donnie Darko. He watches the he watches the tornado at the end of the movie in Donnie Darko, right? And this, this post that I'm decoding, which was posted by Frank, like Frank the Rabbit in Donnie Darko, okay? This is the tornado in Donnie Darko, and this guy was also watching a tornado, okay? So, oh, and don't forget, if you do cap cipher, which means if you take into consideration the capital letters, the, the name Donald and Frank both equals 99. So again, why is, why is uh, Frank and Donald both equal 99? The eclipse is coming up. It's the 99th day of the year. Donald Darko equals 99, okay? Now, I just wanted to point out something with my hometown also that's undeniable, okay? Remember, Trump was responsible for the COV idea. He was the president during this, okay? 
look at what my hometown happened. Okay, remember, this Purge movie came out in 2013, guys. The Purge. Okay? So if you guys don't think Salina, Ohio is somehow big, my hometown, it's just a little hometown. I wouldn't think that it wouldn't make any sense to have anything there. But look, Salina, Ohio was part of this ritual here. And The Purge, the movie, features Salina, Ohio in the very beginning scene. Look at this. Look down here at the bottom left, guys. This is a screenshot from The Purge movie. The very thing you see is March 21st, 2020. Okay? Remember, this movie was released on in 2013. This, this screenshot is from 2013, guys. And look at what the date it's giving us. It's giving us the date of 3-21-2020. This is during the COVID when Trump was, this was just days after Trump declared the COVID. And look at this name of the town, guys. It says 3-21-2020. Purge feed. Salina, Ohio. 3-21. Look at the length of the video posted on 314 earlier that I already covered. Look at the length of the video he posted. It was three minutes and 21 seconds. This is a countdown, guys. Three, two, one. Just like this date, Salina, Ohio, purge feed, three, two, one. Okay? So there. if you guys didn't think Salina is somehow big here, they give you this fuck... Uh, sorry, I almost cussed. But they give you this, this city. <laughs> I'm getting too worked up here. They give my hometown... In the the movie, guys, I just cannot believe this. All right, and my hometown is nothing. Okay, my hometown is like nothing. Right? <laughs> Why is Salina, Ohio, so big? I just don't get it. So, anyways, sorry guys, I'm trying not to get too worked up here, but this just blows my mind, especially because it's it's like connected to me, you know, and I just can't. <laughs> anyways yeah sorry guys but anyways purge feed 321 salina ohio all right and again the video posted just last week during the tornado was was three minutes and 21 seconds long i don't think that's a coincidence the 321 is a countdown so again the purge right and this was predictive programming for the COVID, right? They gave you the COVID date literally, you know, seven years before they did it, right? On 321, they give you the date 321, 2020, seven years before they did the, the ritual, okay? So remember, this tornado happened. This tornado happened on 314. Trump was in Ohio. <laughs> Trump was in Ohio the day after, okay, or two days after this tornado in Salina. Here's my hometown right here. The tornado hit, and Trump was in Vandalia, Ohio, two days later. And look at how far away Salinas tornado is from the where Trump was. Only an hour and three minutes, guys. I used to drive this direction all the time and from salina to where trump was was an hour and three minute drive the 13 is interesting the one three 13 is the number of death the 13th tarot card is the death card the 13th playing card is the ace of spades which is also the death card but here it is guys former president trump warned saturday that if he were to lose the 2024 election it would be a bloodbath for the U.S. auto industry and the country. All right. Remember, we've been talking about Trump's eye wound, kind of like the JFK wound, right? Well, isn't it interesting that Donald Trump is referencing a bloodbath in the auto industry? Look at what auto industry equals in Sumerian Gematria, 1122 in the same cipher as JFK. You can read it, right? Remember, this happened... This just JFK thing happened on 1122 and auto and where did JFK die guys in an automobile 
the auto industry, a, br a bloodbath in an automobile? Don't you think Trump is referencing the JFK head wound in, a, in an automobile? Why is he representing referencing a bloodbath in an auto industry, right? And don't forget, the auto industry is based out of Detroit, which is not too far from my hometown in Salina. Salina, Ohio, right here, where the tornado was the other day. If you drive about two hours north, you get to Detroit, Michigan. That's where Ford is. That's where JFK was killed in a Ford, right? But again, we're going to put 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those guys if, if I get elected. Trump said during a rally in Vandalia, Ohio. So again, the tornado in Salina, and then Trump just happens to be in Vandalia, Ohio, right after that. So if you guys didn't think that this post, again, if you guys are new to the stream, this post was made of a tornado in my hometown of Salina, Ohio. It's all coded, okay? And then Trump is there two days later in Ohio, not too far from where the tornadoes were at. And don't forget, the eclipse goes over this area on August 4th, okay? Or, or August 4th, on April 8th, right? And this is where it gets crazy, guys. So I started because I'm familiar with this intersection. I grew up here. I've driven through this intersection multiple times. And if you guys didn't think this whole post was coded with Donald Trump and and Donnie Darko, look at this, guys. Look at the one building, the one store that is in the photo. OK. This is a restaurant. I've eaten that a few times. It's called Happy Days. And when I looked up the address to this, to this, I was blown away. Look at the address to this one store that's being put in our face for the storm. Here's the tornado in the background. Here's the lights that are about ready to go out. The power's about ready to go out, right? And here's Happy Days. Happy Days is located at 911 Wayne Street. So what are the chances that the one building that's in this photo, the one store, the restaurant, is located at 911, guys? Remember, Donnie Darko that has the tornado, it was released the year of 911, okay? Donnie Darko was initially released on 119 in 2001. The opposite day on the calendar is the 9-11, September 11th. And what are the chances that the one store that's post? And look at the Freemasonry checkerboard, guys. Look at this. This is inside of the, the store that's located at 9-11. And remember, the Freemasons are also all tied to this. And what's the chances this is located at 9-11? If you guys don't think what I already showed you, if you guys aren't believers yet, this should make you a believer. What are the chances of that? Of all numbers that this store could be located at, it has to be at 911. And it has to be at Wayne Street. Why Wayne Street, guys? What else is Donald Trump? What else is Donald Trump tied to? Didn't Donald Trump say he was Batman? Didn't Donald Trump say that? What is Batman's name, guys? Who founded in the Batman series, who founded Skull and Bones? Wasn't it Batman's grandfather founded Skull and Bones in the Batman? And what is this chances that the address of this Happy Days is 911 Wayne Street, like Bruce Wayne, like Donald Trump called himself Batman. Batman is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne was a billionaire, right? Donald Trump is a billionaire, okay? And look at the zip code. Look at the zip code for my hometown, Salina, Ohio. It's four five. It starts out with the 45. I already told you Trump was the 45th president. OK. And I already showed you how this was located. This this guy wrote he the power went out at the intersection of 197. 197 is the 45th prime number. Again, Trump was the 45th president. So, again. Like, how can this be, guys? Like, how does my little hometown how is it so perfectly synced up with just some random video of a tornado? All the tornadoes hit right where the eclipse is going over on, on last week. 
and then Trump just happens to be in Ohio. The one building located in the post is Happy Days located at 911, okay? I mean, out of all the addresses, it had to be 911, okay? And then it has to have the Freemasonry checkerboard inside, right? Like come on. The Freemasonry symbolism right there, okay? It's just and I've been to this. Here's the location right here, guys. Happy Days at the corner of Wayne Street and 197 turns into Wayne Street, okay? So, yeah, in craziness. Yeah, I don't even know what to say at this point. But, uh, yeah, Joseph, he mentions in the post that there was kids hoverboarding. Again, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. What are the chances that he just happens to mention the, mention the word hoverboard? How is that connected to Trump and 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 Back to the Future? Remember, in Back to the Future, it's all about ho the hoverboard. You know, remember the hoverboard and Back to the Future, okay? And what are the chances that this guy mentions a hoverboard? Okay, so this this post ties to Back to the Future and to Donnie Darko. All right, but yeah, I mean. I agree that there's there is another level of coding here. There's an organic code that's well above the people that are doing it. And maybe this thing is or is completely God's code telling us what's coming. Maybe this is a code that was just supposed to speak to me. But at the same time, I had to share this with you guys because I thought at first I thought I'd be crazy to share this with you guys. But give me a thumbs up in the chat if you think I'm not crazy. And this that this seems pretty obviously coded because again, I've showed you multiple ways. How this post is connected to Trump, Donnie Darko, and now you have the 9-11 connection right here and the Freemasonry. You have so many connections. Look, look at this. There's 615 reviews. That would be even crazier if there was 614 reviews. Okay? Because that's Trump's birthday, 614. That would be crazy if that's what it was. There probably was 614 reviews just recently even. Who knows? But anyways... Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. I'm glad I'm not the only one seeing that this is coded. And again, here's the gematria. Okay, let's let's decode it. Salina, the home, my hometown, where the storm happened. Okay, the tornado. Look at Salina. It equals one one eight. Look at the location of Happy Days in Salina. It's located at nine eleven Wayne Street. Just how it's spelled here, guys. Nine eleven Wayne Street equals 118 in the same cipher as Salina. And not the same cipher, but the opposite cipher, the reverse. But 911 Wayne Street just happens to equal the storm. Again, and this guy in this post is pulling up to a storm, a tornado, with happy days at 911 Wayne Street. And 911 Wayne Street just happens to equal the storm. Okay? And it equals Salina. Right. And the 118 is 11 times 8, which equals 88. Right. 11 times 8 equals 88. Remember, Trump equals 88, the 88 miles per hour in Back to the Future. OK. Time Traveler, 888. Donald J. Trump, 888. OK. If you guys missed the beginning of this stream, I talked about the 1188. The 88s are all tied to Trump, guys. So this even connects to the, in my opinion, if you do 11 times 8 with the 118, you get the 88 again, okay? Great reset also equals 118 in this cipher, but there's there's other things too. Cancer equals 118, all right? Uh, but yeah. So that's my last slide, guys, but I, I, I want to go back and I, I want to just, yeah, in the Luke 1018 connection, right? And Luke 10, 18 is like 118 and Satan falls like lightning and lightning happens during a storm. Right. But again, I want to go back. I want to talk about this, the eclipse coming up. And square peg, I, I saw you're in the chat. You gave me this earlier. OK, you said that from the calm before the storm to the insurrection was 1188 days. And then from the insurrection to the eclipse coming up next month is 1188 days. I don't know if you knew this, but in Gematria. In Sumerian gematria, which means the alphabetical order times six, 
So that means whatever you get in the base cipher of Gematria, you multiply that times six and you get calm before the storm equals 1188. Okay, what are the chances of that square peg? You just gave me that and I don't even think you even knew that calm before the storm equals 1188 and President Trump equals 1188 in the same cipher. Okay, and it was President Trump who gave the calm before the storm. Okay. And this, again, ties to the 88 because, again, you have another 88 in here. So, yeah, just, just some craziness. And, you know, the 1188 to the 1188, the eclipse coming up is on 4-8. Donald Trump equals 48. Um, but, yeah. So, thanks again, Square Peg. Your insight was much needed to help this decode be better. Um, yeah, square peg. So if you take the, again, this is Sumerian gematria. So if you take the ordinal value, the base cipher of 198 that you get in the base cipher, the Sumerian cipher is simply the base cipher times six. So if you take the 198, you get in the base cipher and you multiply that times six, you get the 1188. That's how you get the Sumerian cipher. That's where President Trump equals 1188, like calm before the storm equals 1188. That's how you get that, that, that gematria, okay? That's all it is. It's the base cipher times six. So, okay. Let's see. Let's see what you guys are saying. I'm kind of reading what you guys are saying in the chat. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. Complete Works is saying in the chat, August 18th, 2015 was when Trump told the boy he is Batman. And remember, Trump said that he is Batman. So... 300 yeah let's do a measurement here hold on so trump tells the boy on august 18th that's another 88 that date is august 18th you can write that date 188 so another connection to an 88 here okay well so from the the Trump telling the little boy that he's Batman on on 8 18 2015 to August 8 or to I keep saying August to uh April 8th the eclipse coming up is well it's exactly you could say it's 3157 let's see if that's a prime number No not a prime but what I do find interesting here is that from the day Trump said he was Batman to the eclipse is 103 months. Sorry for the loud noises, guys. There's motorcycles going by in the background. But yeah, 103 months. This is also interesting because we're in the year of the dragon. Dragon equals 103. And this is the day that I'm really looking at, though, because there's been a lot of connections to this April 12th day in the Civil War. Remember, this is the day in history that the Civil War connects it, connected. Okay. And this is the 103rd day of the year in the year of the dragon. Dragon equals 103. This is the day the new movie Civil War is coming out. And this is the day that the Civil Captain America Civil War movie came out in 2016. Okay. So this day is a huge Civil War connection. Remember, Ryan Garcia... The guy that's been posting all over X that he's going to expose the Illuminati and the, you know, the Bohemian Club. He said that he would get killed on this day, April 12th. OK, this was four days after the eclipse. It has 60 date numerology. OK, four plus 12 plus 20 plus 24 equals 60. Trump equals 60 in Gematria. Donald Trump equals 60. OK, we're in the 60th presidential election. And... Um, so this April 12th date, four days after the eclipse, is very interesting, okay? Um, 
I have a whole decode of how it could connect to April 12th, how the Civil War, okay, the Civil War. Again, let me let me go back and show you this Captain America Civil War because I want you guys to see this also came out. So you have this year, there's a movie coming out called Civil War, but in 2016, which was the year Trump was elected originally. Remember, Trump was elected in 2016. And look at the date that this Captain America Civil War came out, okay? April 12th, which is the day the Civil War started in history, okay? And Captain America Civil War comes out on April 12th. That means that this Civil War movie that's coming out this year called Civil War... It's a movie directed by Alex Garland. It has the Statue of Liberty with the flame. This movie also just happens to be coming out. It had its premiere on the same day the storm thing happened, guys. Look. Oh, okay. I didn't know this. This um, this Civil War movie had its premiere. It's coming out on April 12th in, in the United States, but it had its premiere on on March 14th. My whole decode was just about how there was a post on March 14th, the day the tornadoes wrecked Ohio. Okay. And again, I wish I could play this video for you guys. Actually, let me see if I can play this video because I want you guys to see. Um, let me go to X if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can find this guy's X because I guys want I just want you to see the video so you guys can see how the how symbolic it is. Remember, we've been having lots of symbolism for power outages, okay? Well, here he is, right here, Buckeye Frank. Yeah, that's a good point, Joseph. The uh March 4th. 14th next year is the blood moon so exactly a year before the blood moon in march 14th 2025 there was the tornadoes yeah and that's 222 days after barack obama's birthday yeah that i forgot about that but that's that's interesting there's also a a, a lunar eclipse on march 25th coming up Uh, Visionary Vet says 1776 divided by 2 is 888. Yep. 888 plus 888 is 1776. Sorry, guys. I'm waiting for this to load. Hold on. Okay, Dr. Savage. Thanks for stopping in, bro. Make sure you guys go check out Dr. Savage's channel also. He's always posting great stuff in his in his um his story and stuff, his community section. So I'll have his link also at the end of this video. I'll also have Square Peg's link. I'll also have Joseph Aquaviva's link. I'll have Jurassic's link. All the people I mentioned in this video will be in the link after this video is over. Okay. But again, guys, this is the guy I decoded at the beginning of this of this video, Buckeye Frank, right? And here's his tornado post. Well, not not quite. Hold on. So here it is, guys. Here's the video. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear the sound, but you can at least watch it. See? See right there, guys? The power went out. The tornado sirens. Can you guys hear the video? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear the video. See over here is the tornado. They did confirm this was a tornado. Somebody's house did get destroyed in this. You guys can't hear the video. Okay. But anyways, just notice how the power goes out right as he's pulling up to the stoplight. 
Okay. And he just stops right here in the middle of traffic. But yeah, you can see it. Look at it. Dr. Savage says that the tornado post was at 717. Yeah, that's um, interesting. And in, in the strong 717 is Armageddon. Interesting. Remember how the deer symbolism, notice that this is the buck eye, right? Remember how the deer symbolism was in the, in the movie Leave the World Behind. So let me play this one more time for you guys to see. But yeah, anyways, guys, this is just this is just like I don't know. I, if you guys missed the beginning of the stream, you might not understand what I'm what I'm even showing here, but you might want to go back and watch because <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if this video is even gonna play because my computer's going so slow. But thank you guys for adding to that. I didn't know that 717 was Armageddon in the Strongs. Yeah, and also, guys, considering that this is Buckeye, this could also be connected to the markets, you know, the buck, the dollar bill. Yeah, this, this video is not going to play, I don't think. But anyways, you guys saw it. If you guys want to go watch it, just go look up Buckeye Frank on, on X. And, yeah, I mean, again, Ohio is the Buckeye state. This is connected to the eye wound. But I want you guys to notice something here. Uh, this is definitely connected to the money, right? So I'll show you why it's connected to the money. So notice that the Buckeye State, Ohio, Buckeye equals 72 and 27 and 117. Okay, so look at this. Buckeye equals money. See this? So again, this is also connected to the money because again, what are the chances? Buckeye and money, and this is all about the buck, right? Uh, Buckeye also has the 117 like Bitcoin. And you know, Bitcoin's been on a, a rampage lately, kind of like a tornado, right? But Bitcoin just happens to equal Buckeye in two out of the four ciphers as well, right? So Joseph says, did you know Donnie's arm numbers added up to 888 or 88? Yeah, I think I saw that at one time, but that's a good that's a good addition. It's his arm tattoo, I think, in the Donnie Darko movie. If you add it up, it equals 88. And remember Trump? Trump equals 88. Okay. So <clears throat> I believe poison also equals 88. And Trump is probably um, responsible for injecting a bunch of people with a poison. Right. At least that's what most of us would agree. And, and I want you guys to know also that considering that in Donnie Darko, the beginning of the movie, Donnie Darko wakes up. Let me see if I can find the synopsis here. Donnie Darko wakes up in a golf course. OK, so October 2nd, 1988. Donald Donnie Darko sleepwalks outside, led by a mysterious voice. It's Frank, just like the guy who posts this is Frank, right? Buckeye. And Frank the rabbit has the eye wound in Donnie Darko, right? And the tornado. Here's my hometown. I see the illusion is in the chat. Much love, brother. Make sure you guys go subscribe to the illusion. I was on his channel last week. We'll have to get together again soon. Me, me, Joseph, and uh, me, Joseph, and the illusion will have to all get together and do a stream. <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, remember this movie starts out with Donnie Darko waking up on a golf course. Now Trump has an event four days before 
the eclipse at a golf event. Okay, so and Trump is really connected to golf, right? Trump loves golf. And so what are the chances that Trump has a golf event? I believe at his Florida thing. I'm not sure. I have to look more into it, but Trump has a golf event four days before the eclipse. Okay. So again, the storm is coming, guys, and it's going to be like, I think, pretty chaotic. And if my first slide tells us anything, it's going to be tied to the insurrection and the calm before the storm. Again, calm before the storm statement was 1188 days before the insurrection. The insurrection is 1188 days before the eclipse. President Trump equals 1188. Calm before the storm, 1188. And again, this insurrection was a foreshadowing of what I believe is some sort of civil unrest, civil war. Remember, and leave the world behind. They also mentioned a civil war on April 12th. They have a movie coming out called Civil War on the anniversary of the Civil War. Okay. So this this is all about some sort of civil war to me. I see lots of connections with that, right? And again, guys, in case you missed the beginning of my stream, I talked about how my hometown of Salina, Ohio, was being hit by a tornado. I mean, a, a tornado, um, and how it's connected to Donnie Darko as the tornado went through my hometown. Now, remember, guys, I'm in Turkey right now. I'm far away from my hometown, but my mom can attest that there was lots of tornadoes. And this tornado that Frank is watching here, again, this is this video is taken at 197 and Grand Lake Road, which 197 is the 45th. Trump was the 45. He gave his calm before the storm 45 days after the first great American eclipse. Okay. Okay. Wow, Shy. So Shy in the chat, one of my loyal um, you know, subscribers, she says you lived in Salina, Texas. Interesting. And here I am talking about my hometown, Salina, Ohio. I I don't know if you've been in here a while, um, Shy, but you should go back and watch this. This is crazy connected to Trump and, and somehow my hometown got involved. I yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, man. I think that um, I might know about Salina, Texas. My mom used to live in Texas also. My mom was in the military. My, my family was in the military. My mom traveled around a lot because my, my grandfather and my grandmother were in the military. And she had some crazy experiences in Texas. My mom has stories, you know, about her getting experimented on in military bases as a kid. So... There's some, yeah, some crazy stuff in my mom's history. I'm not going to get all the details, but yeah, my mom also was in Texas most of her childhood. Well, Shai, I, I think we're definitely connected because what you just told me about you being living in Salina, Texas, my mom is also has a huge connection to Texas. My family had a lot. My family had a home in Texas. It, that where my mom grew up a lot is in a home in Texas. So. I think it was in, it was just north of, I think it was just north of, uh, I can't remember the city now. I can't remember the city, but yeah, I think we are connected. You should watch the beginning of this stream, Shy, though, because I'm talking about how I'm connected to this. Yeah, so Selena, Monarch Rostock says his brother lives in Selena, yeah. It's spelled differently, but it, it sounds similar, right? Salina, Selena. A lot of people mispronounce this and say Selena, but it's actually pronounced Salina, right? <clears throat> but anyways, again, tornado in my hometown of Salina, Ohio. Trump was in Ohio two days later, only about an hour from Salina where he showed up in Ohio. And the tornadoes on 314 on Pi Day went on the direct path. And look, Texas is also in the path, right? So here's Texas. Here's Ohio. The tornadoes on 314 were all in the path of the eclipse, including my hometown of Salina. Tornado just happens to equal eclipse in two out of the four ciphers. 
And again, here's a, a closer look at my area I grew up in, where the eclipse is going. And again, Donnie Darko, the tornado in the movie. This is Frank on Twitter posting a tornado. Just like Donnie Darko, the rabbit's name is Frank. Frank is a three out of four cipher match to Donald. So why do you think they gave, why do you think the rabbit's name in Donnie Darko is named Frank? Because he's the adversary of Donald and they both have similar gematria. And again, just to recap, the handle of this Frank D, his name just happens to be Frank D, which reminds you of Donald, right? Frank D, 419 equals 50. Donald equals 50. The road it was on, Grand Lake Road, 50. And his his name on Twitter, but by Frank equals 50. And the storm, storm equals 50, right? So lots of connections to the 50 there. I'm just doing a recap. Yeah, you're right. It could be connected to the to the new Madrid. I talked about that a lot in my last video. Remember, the area that these tornadoes went over were also very close to the new Madrid fault line, right? Which is kind of like right in here. So it would be very interesting to also have an earthquake in this area also. But yeah, so I think that's it. Oh, here's the 99 connection. Donald Darko equals 99. The eclipse is on the 99th day of the year, right? The United States of America America equals 99. It was it was given its name on 99, September 9th, right? So 99 is a big number in American history also. And again, my hometown was featured in the purge, right? I mean, what's the chance of that, guys? My hometown, they they chose my hometown, my little town in the middle of nowhere salina ohio is featured in the beginning of the purge movie and it was predictive programming for the covid because look at the date here guys 321 2020 that was only 10 days after the covid was declared by trump and this movie the purge where this screenshot is taken from came out 10 or seven years before this okay so yeah The purge, the tornado, the storm, lots of stuff to think about here. Uh, Joseph says, <clears throat> Cody, did you see Obama was at 10 Downing Street today? No, I didn't. Did you do a decode on that yet, uh, Joseph? Are you going to decode that? I'll have to watch it if you already did. The illusion is posting 1 Corinthians 1.18. Interesting. For the preaching of the cross to them... That parish foolishness. Yeah. Good one. 118, guys. Oh, cool. All right. So Joseph made a video about Obama being at 10 Downing Street today. So make sure we, um, after this video, guys, go check out Joseph's video. Okay. What? No, you guys, okay, you guys can't be giving false, if, if this is going, if this news is breaking on my live stream, uh, when we're talking about the 118, okay, let me make sure I verify this. I have two people in the chat saying that King Charles is dead. No way. Well, the, the, this is saying that it's, he's not dead. So this is probably just one of those things to get people talking, but it's interesting, right? Okay, well, we're going to wait. <clears throat> we're going to wait till we see something official, but a lot of people saying it was um, a rumor, right? And this is what it's saying here is a rumor, so. Conflicting reports, huh? <laughs> so there's got to be some sort of ritual here. Why are they announcing it today? Well, his birthday is 11-14. Let's see how many days after his birthday it is.
What is today, guys? I can't remember what today is. <laughs> Does anyone know in the chat what today is? I completely forgot. Is today the 18th? Yeah, today is the 18th. Well, it's interesting because today is four months and four days after his birthday, right? Like kill equals 44. Four, four months and four days after his birthday, he supposedly has cancer, which equals 44. And again, cancer has that 118. We were just talking about the 118. But again, four months, four days after his birthday. And cancer equals 44. But we'll, we'll wait to see if there's actually a verification of this death, right? But that would be crazy if that broke while I'm on live stream. <laughs> but no, it does, doesn't look like they've actually announced it because King Charles is not dead. British embassy in Moscow issues furious denial. So it was Russia that announced this, huh? Russia Newswire Sputnik reported the King Charles death. War games, yeah, interesting. So supposedly the story is that Russia... Hey, let's read this, hold on. British embassy in Moscow issues furious denial after Russia, Russian media shared fake Buckingham Palace statement claiming the monarch passed away unexpectedly yesterday afternoon. Yeah, and they, they said it was a result of cancer, right? And today is four months and four days after his birthday, and cancer equals 44. But in kill equals 44. Yeah, I mean, it seems like uh, seems like there is some sort of war games going on. If Russia is posting this, really? Yeah, if, if Russia is, is really reporting this, it seems like they're trying to start something, you know. Yeah, it's interesting that Russia also put the news out. Seems like a, an interesting story, huh? Uh, somebody in the chat saying Salina, my hometown, originally meant moon. Really? Let me see. So you guys are just getting here. Salina means heavenly blind. One eye, guys. Are you kidding me? Salina means one eye? And I just showed you earlier in this decode how the, the guy who posted the tornado in my hometown, Salina, was Frank. And in the movie Donnie Darko, it's Frank with the one eye gets shot out. Like, come on now. That's insane, guys. I mean, I was just making connection to the one eye in Donnie Darko and the storm and the tornado and then the, the meaning of my hometown. I didn't even know this. My hometown means heavenly blind or one eye. Huh. Again, I wish I could pull up my, my presentation. I already closed it because it's going to take a while to load. But again, Frank in Donnie Darko. Right here. And don't forget, this movie... You know, has the the tornado and the one eye symbolism, right? Donnie, Frank. Yeah, this this is an absolutely insane, guys. 
Like, come on now. Let me see if I can just make this bigger so you guys can see it. But yeah, I mean, absolutely insane, man. And you know why my hometown is interesting too? Because my hometown is just about 20 minutes away from where um, Neil Armstrong grew up. And the tornadoes also, the other night, the tornadoes also went through Wapakoneta, which intersects at the intersection of 33, guys. So 33 runs straight through 127, right? 127 is an Illuminati number, by the way. 127 runs to 29, and 33 runs up towards here. I live, my parents live just off of 33. But anyway, 33 runs right next to Wapakoneta, Ohio. Look at this, guys. Salina and Wapakoneta, Ohio tornado outbreak, 314. So Salina and Wapakoneta both got hit with tornadoes. Why is Wapakoneta important, guys? Because Wapakoneta, Ohio is the birthplace of the supposed character we know as Neil Armstrong. Give it a second to load. Yeah, right here, guys. This is located in Wapakoneta at Apollo Drive. 45895. Opened on July 20th. <laughs> so this thing was opened on July 20th, the anniversary of the moon landing. And this is where Neil Armstrong was born, Wapakoneta. And as I just showed you, Wapakoneta is literally 20 minutes from my hometown, Salina. And I just showed you Salina, the whole video, and now, you know, this is something to think about, too. Remember, Neil Armstrong was the first man to ever supposedly walk on the moon, right? So, yeah, what a matrix, guys. There's a happy days there, too. Where? Patty Watson. What Are you from this area? Patty Watson in the chat, are you from Salina? Because you're saying that there's a happy days there too. You talking about Wapakoneta? I'll wait for your answer in the chat. So Yeah, I mean I just can't believe the one eye thing. I can't believe my city means one eye. <laughs> it's insane. And the happy days, um, that's, I already decoded that. There's five locations, Patty says. Okay, one of them is in Wapakoneta. Okay. I'm assuming that's what you mean. Is Obama, yeah, Obama's in England, and now Russia is saying that there's a, there's a death, right? My computer's being so slow, guys, I can barely even get it to do anything anymore. But yeah, thank you guys for providing that extra info. A third eye code says the tetragrammaton is watching you equals 107. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's see. The moon is referred to as the eye in the sky. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, my middle name is also Ray, like the rays of the sun. I promise I'm not a Jesuit, guys. Yeah, my computer ate some turkey. Just like I ate some, well, I didn't eat turkey, but I'm in Turkey. So my computer ate some turkey and now it's, it's not working. It's, it's having its, um, 
Thanksgiving hangover. Complete Works says the second Happy Days is on Lincoln Avenue. Is it really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let me just look it up here. Hold on. Yeah, you're probably right. My girlfriend says it's my internet, not my computer. Yeah, the internet's not so great here sometimes. <clears throat> Yeah, so the Salina location I already showed you guys is located at 911 Wayne, like Bruce Wayne, right? And somebody's saying that the other Happy Days is located at Lincoln, which is also connected to uh, being shot, right? Someone says try Pepto Bismol. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get some some Pepto Bismol. Gosh, that stuff was so disgusting. That pink stuff, man. I hated that stuff. I think that's pink stuff, isn't it? The Pepto Bismol. I don't take much medicine, so. Square Peg is saying lunar eclipse plus seven days is Easter. And one day equals fool's days and plus seven days is solar eclipse. Yeah, that's a good point, square peg. So you got the lunar eclipse on March 25th coming up. Seven days later is Easter. And then you have one day, which is April fool's day. And then you have seven more days later. And that's the eclipse, the solar eclipse. Jessica saying it's yummy. I hope you're not talking about Pepto-Bismol. Ugh. Yeah, my girlfriend's answering in the chat. I, I, I'm not moving to Turkey. I'm in Turkey because it's a cheap place to stay and it's nice here, nicer than Albania. And I can't stay in Germany for more than three months. So I have to, my girlfriend lives there. I, 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 I have to leave the country for three months and then I have to come back for three months. It's, yeah, it's very annoying. Anyways, we we, we start. We're now we're talking about Pepto Bismol. This chat has deteriorated. Yeah, I know Square Peg. You're right. I have to marry her. Yeah, Daniel says don't visit the uh, the the Muslim country, but uh, I'm already here, so. <laughs> But so far, it's okay. I'm not see. I'm it's not seeming so bad so far. Yeah, you're right, Tammy. Yeah, Tammy's saying. Remember my last decode, guys, or two decodes ago, I talked about the song by by Beyonce called Texas Hold'em, and in that song, she just randomly says, "There's a tornado in my city," and then a few weeks later, there is a tornado in my city, guys. I mean, what's the chances of that? Why does she say randomly in the song? Why does she say randomly in the song? Uh, um, you know, there's a tornado in my city. Like, it doesn't make any sense, you know. But a tornado spins in circles, right? It's all about the circle, right? That's what a tornado does. It, it's a It's a spiral, right? So... Remember, there was tornadoes in Texas the same day there was tornadoes in Ohio. And don't forget, guys, tornado equals 33. Right. And 39 like eclipse. Right. So that's why it seems like these tornadoes were synced up with the eclipse. That's very similar. Right. Very similar. Stevie Ray Vaughan, yeah. Interesting because Stevie Ray Vaughan also has the middle name Ray like mine. My middle name's Cody Ray. 
Stevie Ray Vaughan died in a, um, a helicopter crash, I believe. He's And he had the Texas flood, and he, he was all about Texas, right, Stevie Ray Vaughan? You know, there's probably a connection to his plane crash. And, um, yeah, sorry, guys, I closed out of my whole presentation. But, you know, if you guys are just getting here, please go back and watch the beginning. Let me see how many likes I have. Wow, guys. You guys are doing absolutely amazing. I have 151, 151 likes in this stream. And are you kidding me? 151 likes and I'm not even finished with the stream yet. You guys are awesome. Like seriously. Thank you guys so much. Like sometimes I wonder, I wonder how you guys enjoy sitting on here listening to me so much, but, and you actually hit the like button. So it's, it's, I've, I'm very humbled. So yeah, I, I, I'm so grateful for that really. Yeah. The illusion, he says 151 is the 36 prime and 36 is the 666 of the 36 triangular. Yep. Yeah, the Wisconsin connection. Stevie Ray Vaughan, his last concert was in Wisconsin, yep. Yeah, you want to know what's also interesting about me, guys? I'm born in Ohio, right? I'm from Ohio. Look at Cody and look at Ohio. I mean, was I not born in the perfect state and given the perfect name that my mom had no idea? <laughs> My mom had no idea about this stuff. At least I don't think she did. I mean, what's the chances of that? Like, I mean, my name's Cody and I'm from, I'm sure there's lots of Cody's from Ohio, but I'm just saying it's just, it's just crazy for me. <clears throat> you know, I, it's a three out of four cipher match too. It's not just like one or two ciphers, it's three out of four. So, and it's pretty close in this cipher too, but, but, you know, my name also equals beast, which that might not be such a good connection, right? But only in one cipher, but also equals time. So again, time and Cody and Ohio all have that 4761 connection, but. Anyways, I'm just talking about my name too much now. Yeah, guys, this is all about team-based. Yeah, and make sure you guys go give a sub to Sean, who was on my stream last last week or a few days ago. I don't know if Sean's in the chat. Hey, Sean, if you're in the chat, give us a little bit of a – give us a thumbs up if you're in the chat. Make sure you go check out his channel. Okay. Third eye code says understand equals 39 and computer equals 39. Interesting. Casey Jones. Casey Jones is in the chat. Another great decoder in the community. Go check out his channel. Uh, Casey Jones says Dayton is going deep in the tournament, I'd wager. Is Dayton in the tournament? I didn't, I didn't, I don't even follow that right now. You're probably talking about the March Madness. Remember, Trump was in Vandalia, which is just north of Dayton, Ohio. Let me see how far they are in the tournament. And just know that Ohio is a very important state, guys. Remember, the guy who landed on the moon for the first time, he's from Ohio. Flying itself like, was invented in Ohio by the Wright brothers. I grew up near Wright State University Lake Campus, which is basically named after the Wright brothers who created the, the airplanes, right? But look at Dayton, right? The Dayton Flyers, which is connected to the, um, you know, flying, right? And uh, so I don't know how far Dayton is in the tournament right now. Their ne next game, okay, so their next game is against Nevada. They're ranked number seven. So, yeah, they could, they're, they got a pretty good ranking. Square Peg says, hit me up to set something up to do 
together via StreamYard. Yeah, I need to get back together with Square Peg also. Yeah, I, I, I want to collab with all of you guys in the chat. Okay, so I see Sean's also in the chat. Okay, so Sean, Square Peg, The Illusion, Joseph Aquaviva, Casey Jones, um, Dr. Savage, all of you guys. If you guys want to jump on a live stream sometime, let me know and we can have a round table. We can just bounce things around and we can just, you know, learn together, grow together, do what we need to do. So if you guys are down for that or if you guys just, we don't have to do it all at the same time, but we could do it all at the same time. Uh, we could have like, I don't know how many people I can have on my stream yard. I think I can have like more than i think i can have four or five people on my stream yard so yeah I, that's what i when i started doing my live streams that's what i wanted to do i wanted to have a bunch of people on my live and just a bunch of people sharing their codes right so if you guys have something you want to share i mean joseph he hasn't even really been on my live stream yet so i'd like to get him on here um so yeah maybe we'll plan something um let me know in the comments of this video, guys, the illusion square peg, um, square peg, I'll email you or just let me know in the comments and we'll we'll line something up. So you guys have something to look forward to um, if we can if we can get everyone on the same schedule. Or at least, you know, at least two or three of us, it seems like Sean is down and square peg is down. Uh, the illusion is down. So, yeah. I don't know if Casey Jones is down uh, or not, or Joseph is down, but, or Dr. Savage, <laughs> those are the other three. So uh, let's see, I missed some comments. <clears throat> the tournament starts on the 19th. Okay. The, the NCAA March Madness starts on the 19th. Okay. Casey Jones says he can. I do have a Discord uh, Discord channel. Um, I'm just sometimes forget to answer the messages in it. But as a matter of fact, I got to answer somebody's messages in my Discord that messaged me today. So I'm sorry to whoever that was. I haven't got a chance to answer the message yet, but I'm I'm going to get to that. So I will also leave a link to my Discord channel if you guys all want to join that. It's Decoding with Cody Discord channel. So it's. It's not very active, but I mean, you guys can join it and share something with me if you want. Oh, the illusion says that this tournament starts on Derek Chauvin's birthday. <laughs> okay. Well, what an interesting day for that to start, huh? Derek Chauvin on March 19th, huh? I believe that's also the birthday of the FBI director. Um, March 19th is the FBI director's birthday. Yeah, but we'll keep an eye on the Dayton Flyers here because Dayton is very close to where this whole decode was about. Dayton, Ohio. Um, FBI director. I don't even know who that is. I can't remember his name. Christopher Ray? No. Uh, who is the guy? Is it the CIA? CIA director? Yeah, I I think it's this guy. Oh, no, no, no. The Central Intelligence Agency Biden Administration Director William J. Burns. <laughs> Burns, his born April 4th, guys. And he started on March 19th. He started his. So that means this March 19th will be his his third year anniversary yeah, I remembered him because he was he started he started as the CIA director on um, March nineteenth. March nineteenth was also the day in history that the the Simpsons Bart to the Future episode came out March nineteenth. I've talked about that a lot in connection to Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. March nineteenth is also written one nine three, which is the forty fourth prime. All right, Square Peg, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys all know, um, or you guys just comment in this video what day works best for you guys. 
Yeah, that 319 was a big number with the I watched um Zenith of the Alpha's videos. If you guys don't watch Zenith of the Alpha, that's another guy that I would like to bring on. He was talking about how the 319 is super coded with the with Prince and with King Charles, right? The royal family. Uh, someone says, let's start on 322 date. <laughs> yeah, should we do a live stream on the three, the 322 date? When is that? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, that's this Friday. So I don't know if, if Friday is a good day for everyone, but uh, I don't know. I mean, that'd be interesting. We could do a Skull and Bones Day uh, stream. So that's this Friday. So let me know who wants to join the live stream this Friday. We can have a panel. Or we could do it Wednesday. It doesn't matter. Whatever you guys, whatever works for you guys the most. So everyone in that's in the chat, uh, whatever day is best. Or maybe, you know. Because I could be free whenever you guys need me, whenever you guys are free. So just let me know about that. Yeah, Joseph says the um, Lucifer and killing and Masonic all equal 319 and Satanic. Yeah, okay, Joseph says whenever Wednesday works good for Sean. Okay, well, everyone's saying Wednesday, so... Maybe we'll do Wednesday, guys. 320. So around what time? Because, it, you know, in my time, like right now, we're on live and it's 11.05 p.m. So I don't want to do it any later than, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock my time. So it would be around the same time we're on right now. But anyway, we'll figure that out in the – either way, whoever can join on Wednesday, you're you're welcome to come join. We'll just do it. We'll, we'll set it for Wednesday at around the same time as today's stream started, and it'll be a panel, right? There's other people that also want to join the panel, but anyone who wants to join that I can fit on. The Illusion says he would prefer it at 8 – my time so that would be noon that would be noon on the east coast unfortunately everyone's in different time zones so <clears throat> yeah but we'll shoot for wednesday i'll give you guys an update um but we'll shoot for around noon eastern time on wednesday Yeah, so when I get when I start that stream, I'll have a link that I can send out to everyone. And all you got to do is click the link and you guys can join. You guys can turn on your camera or you can um, just do it like I do with no camera. So whatever you guys want to do. So get your popcorn ready. I'll try to have a decode ready and we can we can come up with a theme or you guys can just share whatever's on your minds. So it doesn't really matter. We'll just do a round table. All right, guys, that sounds great. Awesome. So Wednesday at noon Eastern time, we will have a round table. So whoever wants to join that, come on by. We got 202 in the chat right now. So all 202 of you on Wednesday at noon Eastern, we're having a round table live stream. <clears throat> All right. Well, thank you guys all so much. I'm, I think I'm going to end this here because it's getting a bit late. Thank you guys for the 191 likes. Please, if you guys want to support the channel, support me while I'm here in Turkey. Um, please hit the like button. And uh, also, there's a donation link. If you'd like to donate, buy me a coffee at the top of this link. You guys will be directed to this page. Please do not donate to YouTube. 
Um, it's best to just go here if you want to support the channel. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Captain Flattastic. Thank you to all the people who donate. Much love. And that's it, guys. So with that out of the way, yeah, my girlfriend's just getting the news uh, that they're saying that uh, King Charles is dead in the Russian news. So we're going to keep tabs on that story, guys, before I get off here. Let's keep tabs on the story that King Charles, that the Russian media posts that King Charles is maybe be dead, right? So we don't know if that's, it's denied by UK. So, but either way, it's going to start probably some sort of issue between Russia and the UK. So we'll see. All right, guys. So anyways, we're going to going to end the stream thank you guys so much thank you the illusion thank you square peg thank you to my girlfriend thank you marcus phoenix thank you john 316 thank you chris thank you joseph thank you uh the illusion guys make sure you go check out all the links in this video after that i i finish the stream and with that being said thank you guys so much i will see you guys on wednesday for the round table at noon eastern time Noon Eastern Time Roundtable, Wednesday, March 20th. All right. So take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.